What's up guys, Xbox Mod 360 here, and in today's video, I'm bringing you guys a little review of the Laser 303 Red Laser Pointer. So while I will be opening this up in the video too, I don't really call this an unboxing because it's one of those cheap Chinese laser pointers that's unbranded and doesn't come with a box or instructions, so I'm not really going to call this much of an unboxing because it's probably just going to be wrapped in a little bit of bubble wrap. I did get it for about $12, it comes with two batteries and a charger. So I'll provide you guys with links down below on US sellers where you can buy this laser from, and the reason I like US sellers is obviously because the shipping time is much less, and if you want to return the item you don't have to ship it to China. So I'm just going to open this up and some of you might be saying how is he able to have US sellers if it's a Chinese laser pointer. The US sellers have already bought it from China and had it shipped to their location, so that's how they do that. So. First thing you can see it is all wrapped in bubble wrap just like I had assumed. And one of the first things I have to say is I really do like the color of this battery a lot. It's a really nice chrome green color. I got uh, two batteries and yeah mostly they're usually just a red or blue color and these are kind of shiny green. I don't know I like that. You get the, um, the double charger too. I forgot to mention that. What's nice about this charger as opposed to other laser pointer chargers is that it's a double charger meaning I can charge both of my batteries at once so that's very nice and I'm gonna go to the laser pointer now and show you guys that. One of the first things you'll notice is that when you get yours the laser pointer is of a metal construction probably aluminum or something like that so it is very nice feeling it doesn't feel like plastic or anything like that and on the very top there's the star cap which comes on the laser I forgot to mention that too that's included it usually comes on the laser and I'll show you guys the label right now. So if you guys didn't already know, the wavelength of this red laser pointer is 650 Nm, and the power output is probably somewhere around 50 milliwatts. It's uh, hard to tell with these cheap Chinese laser pointers, the actual power output. So the label doesn't really lie when it tells you it's less than 200 milliwatts. It is somewhere between 0 and 200. It's probably about 50, but the weird thing is that the listings usually will tell you it's only a 5 milliwatt or 1 milliwatt laser. So... I think they're trying to get around some issues with customs there, maybe something with mailing it. But this laser pointer obviously is a bit higher than 5 milliwatts. It is a burning laser pointer, and that's something I forgot to mention earlier, is that this laser pointer can burn. So what I'm showing you guys right here is that you get a little set of safety keys on the bottom. It allows you to lock and unlock the laser, if I can get this key in there the right way. The laser is listed on the label as a Class 3B laser, so... I don't even know if they're required to have the keys or not, I, they might be. I've gotten other laser pointers that are this same strength and don't come with the set of keys. You also get a lanyard on the bottom there that is of pretty good quality, you can take that off if you don't like that. But one thing I'm looking at here that's probably going to cause an issue, this top part that I'm turning right here, that's the star cat that you take off. and. A lot of people have trouble taking that off because it is meant to turn in order to make the star effect change, but you also need to turn it to take it off, so you got to kind of spin it fast. That's the way I've uh, always done it. You just kind of spin it fast, or you pull up or push down on it while you're spinning to take it off. But the issue that I'm seeing here is that right below the star cap, once you have the star cap off, and it's probably going to take me a second to fully remove it, there's another part that you're able to turn, and that's the laser focus. That's what really allows you to burn stuff. And it looks to me like the manufacturer has put that safety label right over the focus, meaning I won't be able to focus in and out and burn stuff until I move that label. So I'll show you as soon as I get this star cap off. This right here is the star cap. It pretty much comes with every laser 303 and it allows you to split the laser beam into like a hundred separate different little laser beams and it does this really cool star effect. I'll show you guys that later on in the video but this is what I'm talking about right here. This treaded part on the very top is supposed to turn just like the star cap does and turning it allows you to focus the laser in and out and it looks like they've put this safety label right over the tread so I can't turn it at all so... I'm going to have to peel this safety label off and move it somewhere else. So if your laser safety label is poorly placed like mine is, I would suggest moving it right to this spot right here on the treads right under where it says laser 303. This laser unscrews in three or four different places and you don't want to put it on any area that unscrews because you'll just have to remove it again. So that's the best place to put it. So in this little clip right here, you'll notice that I ended up putting that sticker on the wrong spot and I fixed it later on in the video. But this little part right here, once you remove the star cap, this is the focus. It has treads on the side so that you can screw it in and out and as you screw it in and out you focus it in and out so now that I've gone over the focus I'm gonna show you guys where you put the battery it's uh, pretty simple and straightforward you unscrew the bottom where that key spot is and you actually put the battery right there in the middle of the laser it's uh, easy to unscrew and the battery usually goes in with the positive side up one battery in there and then you just screw it back in and these batteries usually come pre-charged 
So I'm just going to test it out to show you guys and it has the star cap on it so you'll notice that star effect right there and it does work right out of the packaging. It does have some sort of a charge on it. I don't know if they're fully charged but they are charged enough for me to actually use it. So this is what it'll look like without that star cap attachment on there and one thing I don't like about this laser is that you have to hold down the button while using it in order for the laser to be on as opposed to other laser pointers where you just push one button to turn it on and push one button to turn it off. So. That's kind of a downside for me. I don't really like the ones where you have to hold down the button, but I can live with it. So I had mentioned earlier in the video that this laser unscrews in a couple different places. You already saw it unscrew for the focus and to put in the battery. It also unscrews right here in the middle of the battery holding area. And I'm not really sure the purpose of this, maybe to get at that little spring a little bit better. Maybe if the spring got corroded or something like that and you had to clean it off, I don't know, but I just wanted to show you guys that. It also unscrews a bit higher up on the laser. It unscrews right above the button and when you unscrew this section, what you have is a bottom half with the laser module and you have a top half with all the glass lenses that actually focus the laser. So my guess would be that if maybe your lenses got scratched, you could maybe buy a new top or switch out the top from another laser. I don't know. Maybe this allows you to access the module and alter it or fix it. I'm not really sure, but I just wanted to show you guys that feature as well. So now to move on to the battery and charger that come with it. The battery that you get is a Skywolf I18650 5000 milliamp 3.7 volt rechargeable battery. And the color or brand of the battery you get with your laser may be a little different, but it'll be pretty much the same battery. This charger doesn't really seem to have any branding on it, but it is designed to charge two of these batteries. And it does look like it has a little indicator light on there as well to tell you when they're charged. So I don't really have any issues with either of those things. But now that I've covered all the features of this laser and everything that comes with it, I'm now going to move on to actually testing out the laser and showing you guys what it can do. But before you guys even start testing out your laser, make sure that you have a good pair of safety glasses because you shouldn't really be looking at the direct dot for extended periods of time. Especially if you're trying to focus it in and burn on something, you'll have to stare at that dot to make it small. And you guys will need to make sure you get a blue pair as opposed to the red pair that usually protect against green lasers. The blue pair is more for red lasers. They're usually only about 5 or 10 bucks and I'll give you guys a link down below on where you can get those as well. Now what I'm showing you guys right here is what that focusing cap does. At a long range you'll notice that it makes that dot very large but at a close range maybe within about 6 inches you'll notice that that dot gets very small and it allows you to actually focus in and burn stuff. And I'll give you guys a little demonstration of its burning abilities at the end of the video but first I'm going to show you guys what the laser looks like in different lighting levels. This lighting level is just a normally lit room indoors. The laser's red dot is very visible but unfortunately that beam is not visible at all in this lighting level. So now we're going to move on to a dark room indoors. Not completely dark but kind of a dim room. The red dot is very visible, it lights up the whole area red, but unfortunately that beam is still very hard to see. I couldn't even see it in this lighting level. And now we're going to move on to an outdoor setting in daylight, and I'm going to start off on the ground right in front of me and try to follow along with the dot as I go across my yard. But the reason you're not really able to see the beam on this laser is because the red laser wavelength is much less visible to the human eye than say a green laser. So even though you might have two lasers, a red one and a green one that are the same strength, the green wavelength is just much more visible to the human eye than the red one is. But as you guys can see in a normal outdoor daylight setting you can still see that dot from several hundred feet away so I do find that very impressive. This laser is a very good strength for a red laser pointer especially for the price that you pay. But I did have a couple more little indoor settings that I wanted to show you guys before I do move on to the nighttime settings which obviously are the best time to use this laser. So one way that you can make the actual beam of this laser visible is if you fill up a sink with very hot water you should be able to see it. You can kind of see it in the fog. Anytime there's fog or smoke, the beam does become very visible. So if you have a fog machine, it would work the same way. But just a really simple way to do it is either fill up your sink or your bathtub with very hot water. And another way is inside of a fish tank. When you shoot it through a fish tank, you'll notice that the beam actually becomes completely visible. And it's just a really cool effect if you want to actually see the beam of this laser. Just avoid shining it at any living animals inside the tank, obviously, so that you don't damage their eyes. And one last way that I sometimes do this is if you have any furniture in your house that's very old and has a lot of dust in it, just hit that furniture and get the dust in the air and you'll notice that the dust particles will catch that beam and you should be able to see the beam of light in the air. But besides those methods I just mentioned and showed you guys, the only time you're really going to be able to see the beam in the air is at nighttime in a completely dark room 
or on a day or a night where it's very foggy out. So this is what the laser actually looks like at night and unfortunately I don't think the camera is really picking it up that well but you are able to see a faint beam in the air. It's definitely not as strong as a green or a blue laser but you can see the beam when you are looking from right behind the laser. You can't really see it from sideways. The dot is obviously very bright and can probably be seen from very far away, probably even miles away, but like I said, that beam is only really visible when you're looking straight down the line of the site. So this is what that star attachment looks like at night. It's very impressive, it's very bright. This is on a shed from about 15 feet away. It creates a very large area, so just be careful that nobody is in the area that you're shining it at because you can still cause eye damage even though you're splitting the main beam up into multiple beams. And obviously it goes without saying that you can't point this laser at any vehicles or a plane, not into your neighbor's yards or at any living thing really, so just be safe about it and don't be stupid. So we're now moving on to the burn test and make sure you're still wearing your safety glasses. I'm going to use the charger to do a little demonstration for you guys. It's not going to burn all the way through or destroy the charger or anything like that. But as many of you know, these lasers burn best with dark materials, especially things that are black. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus that dot from about 6 inches to maybe 10 inches away. And we're going to try to make that dot as small as possible. And what you'll notice is a little tiny bit of smoke comes off and you'll leave little tiny etch marks. So using the side of your charger is the perfect way to practice actually focusing in and burning something. Once you've practiced on that, and I'm going to zoom in in a second and show you guys the little etch marks it left, you can move on to something like a match or electric tape or a balloon. Now, I do have to say that this laser does not burn as well as the green laser 303. I had a lot of trouble lighting a match with this laser, and I actually couldn't do it. I tried for about a minute or so, maybe two minutes, and I could not light a match with a red top. I'm sure if I tried longer, maybe like five minutes of focusing it in on there, I might have been able to do it, but I'll show you guys what I did. I took a match, just a normal red top match, and what you're going to do is you're going to grab a Sharpie because this thing burns stuff that is black much better than stuff that is red or any other color. So all you're going to do is color in part of the top of this match black with a Sharpie, and then you should be able to light it within like 10 seconds or so. I'll show you guys right now. So I shouldn't really have to focus because I just focused it in while I was doing that little practice run. We're going to test this out and try it on this match right now and we'll see how long it takes. And yeah, about three seconds when you actually color in the top black. So like I said, the burning capabilities of this laser are very limited when it comes to anything that is not black. However, it does burn very well with things that are black. So I'll show you guys trying that same exact thing out, still focused in perfectly, on a normal red top match, and I'm not going to do it for too long for the sake of the video, but it doesn't burn the same way a black top match would. So I just want you guys to take that into account when you are buying this laser. If you're buying it just for its burning capabilities, I would go with the green laser 303 just because the green one has a little bit better burning capability. The reason I bought this laser is because many of you may have noticed I'm kind of building up a little laser collection and I didn't have anything in my collection that was 650 NM yet so this was a nice cheap option and it is a very bright red laser so it does fit my needs very well. And I am going to show you one more quick little burning test. I have a yellow balloon right here and I don't think it's going to burn the balloon unless I color in a little section of it black so we'll see if I focus in that dot very small on the balloon right now. And I'm not going to keep it on there for a long time. If I left it on there for a very long time, it might burn a hole in it. But I have that dot focused in pretty small right now, and I'm getting no results at all. So I am going to switch over to the Sharpie and color in a little section of it black. You don't really need to make the dot huge or anything. You could probably just do even one little speck. It just needs to be the size of the dot that the laser produces. So we'll try this out again, and yeah, it pops immediately. So pretty much the same result that we got with the match. This laser burns very good on things that are black, and you can color things in with a Sharpie too to make them black and it will work. However, the burning capabilities are very limited with lighter color objects. So that's pretty much a review of the burning capability. I've talked about how the beam is pretty much only visible at night in foggy settings or in a very dark room. As far as the laser itself goes, like I said, it is aluminum or at least some type of metal. It feels very durable and not like something that's going to break easily. I haven't had any issues with the laser itself at all. I would have liked them to put that sticker in the right spot originally, but 
that's not really a huge issue for me. So overall, I think this is a very cool and nice laser if you're looking for something red. If you are a beginner and you're just looking for a very bright laser in general to mess around with, I would probably go with the green one just because they are much brighter than the red ones, but because I was looking for a red one, this fit me perfectly. You guys may also see red laser 301s and 302s out there. They're all pretty much the same thing. There's not really any difference. There's also laser SD 303 and stuff like that. All pretty much the same laser, same strength and everything like that. I will provide you with links down below on where you can buy this laser and those links will be US sellers that way you don't have to wait forever to get the item. I would give this probably about a 7.58 out of 10. It was a very good product, I would have liked the burning capabilities to maybe be a little bit stronger but that's pretty much the only issue I have with it. So if you found this video review helpful in any way hit that like button below. And if you guys are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for more amazing laser videos just like this. And as always guys, thank you for watching from Xbox Mod 360.